to your ears and your eyes. May God honor you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My names are Apostle Paul I.K. Josiah, um, the general overseer and founder of Tabernacle of Healing Ministries in Lusaka, Zambia. I, I came to Charis here because uh, I came for guidance, deliverance, and impartation. So while the, uh, we were still in a group, the man of God, Prophet Andres, uh, prophesied to me to say he's seeing land for the ministry. Okay. I've been trusting God, we've been trusting God as a ministry for over one year and some months. So we proceeded for one-on-one -on -one and uh, he said to me, he asked me about uh, uh, my wife. He said, where is your wife? So I told, I told him to say, my wife left me six years ago when I made a decision to enter into ministry. Yeah, so he, 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 he gave me, he said, um, I should forget about the past, and uh, uh, he prayed for me for, for a, new, a, a new person, a new partner. So he also to, talked about um, seeing a new car and um, uh, regarding uh, the, the area of the prophetic, yeah, because I was ordained as a prophet in, um, in 2017, but the area of the prophetic, the enemy fights me so much. Yeah, the enemy fights me so much. How it is is that uh, if I fast and pray for five days, I would see vision, afterwards they will close up. So I need to continue praying, praying, praying like that. So he, he prayed for me. And uh, in that area, believing God to say there is a change. I, I, feel, I feel blessed uh, because uh, these Prophet Andres, our father, they are ahead and uh, we are just starting. So we learn a lot from those who have been ahead of us uh, so that we don't make mistakes and we continue moving forward. So I'm so much blessed. Amen. Don't close your eyes. God is filling you there. Eh? Amen. You understand? Amen. You don't need to pray with many people. Amen. <laughs> Sir, you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, so the Apostle talked about, he spoke of uh, the land for the ministry. Yeah, to say we are we will receive a land, he prophesied to me. He spoke about um, branches opening for our ministry to say in Botswana and the like. So we'll have more branches soon. Uh -huh, so then, yeah. He, then he spoke about partners coming on board to support the ministry and support me. Yeah, so that's that, that's that's. <laughs> and how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the apostle and Prophet Andres? No, I feel um, seeking direction uh, like today's word. Yeah, it it is an assurance, you know, and it makes me to know that God has got uh, a plan for me and our ministry. 
Yeah, so I'm blessed by the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I wish, my, uh, my prayer is I should be coming more for guidance. Uh, yeah. Uh, young ministers watching uh, me, it's important to humble yourself regardless of what, uh, God, how God is using you. When you look at my ministry, God uses me so much, but I humble myself to submit under people who have been ahead of me. Yeah. So sometimes when God is using you so much in the miraculous, it's a miracle signs and wonders, sometimes pride may come. So it's important to submit so that you are accountable to those uh, higher authorities. There are authorities, there are levels in the spiritual realm. So there are people ahead of us, the fathers. So I'm here so that I'm accountable, so that I don't make mistakes, especially in the area of pride, especially in uh, also other areas. So I encourage you to come here, Charis, uh, the man of God, the man, the man of God is very anointed. Apostle J.B. Makanan is our father. He's so much anointed and he's, he's, he's a father. He doesn't have jealous to rift others.